Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Man United Save I'm doing at the moment. Um, this is episode number six, I believe. Um, as you know already, um, if you haven't seen it, um, I actually played, uh, we managed to reach the FA Cup final. I've played that live. Um, the link is in the description below if you want to check that out. Very, very controversial match. Um, I highly recommend going to see it. It's one of them games that can go either way quite often, but have a look at that. I, I honestly can highly recommend it. Um, so where should we start? Uh, we left you off uh, in, well, it would be end of the transfer window. Right, so we would have left you off after the Stoke game, where we won 2-0. Um, Wayne Rooney and Lucas Moore are scoring for us. Um, we actually had quite a poor start, um, although it doesn't look like it, compared to um, consistently compared to our opponents. Um, we quite struggled a bit. We struggled quite a bit at the beginning. Um, so we beat West Ham 2-1 at home, where we beat uh, Yanazai scored and they scored an own goal as well, I believe. Um, we then played Juventus in our first group game in the Champions League. Um, the teams that we got in the Champions League in our group are Juventus, Grasshoppers, and Panathinaikos. Um, so apart from Juventus, quite kind to us, which I was quite pleased about. But we lost 2-0 in the first um, game against Juventus in the group. Um, away, um, Paul Pogba got both the goals for them. We then drew 0-0 with Aston Villa at home. I was very, very disappointed with with the with the result and with the actual match performance itself. As you can see, we six point fours in there, which is really poor. Uh, we then scraped through a one 0 win against Crawley away, um, where Phil Jones get on the score sheet, and we actually played quite a strong team in that game as well. We then drew one all with Tottenham, um, where Shinji Kagawa got on the score sheet for us. And then we went to Grasshoppers, well, at Old Trafford, we didn't go there, um, where we smashed them 6-0. Shinji Kagawa, Lucas Moura and Wayne Rooney getting our well-deserved hat-trick. Um, I've really struggled with Wayne Rooney so far uh, to this point. Um, you'll see what I mean. Um, basically, in the first season, as you put, if you haven't seen the other videos or the previous episodes, um, I decided to sell Van Persie and kept Wayne Rooney. Um, a lot of people sell Rooney and keep Van Persie. And it paid off. Um, yeah, it was absolutely smashing goals in left, right, and centre. Um, but at the beginning of the season, he didn't. So um, I was quite concerned about that. Um, after the 6 0 win, we then went away to Ed, uh, to Goodison Park, where we played Everton. Um, Wayne Rooney got on the score sheet for us, and I believe it was an own goal as well for them. But they beat us 3 2, unfortunately. Um, but then we got back to winning ways against QPR at Old Trafford. Marco Royce on the score sheet twice, and then Vel Voland getting the third. Um, and then we smashed Panathinaikos 7-2 in the group. Um, Kevin Volland getting a hat-trick, Lucas Moura, Danny Welbeck, Adnan Yanazai, um, Florenzi all scoring for us. Um, and Phil Jones actually scored an own goal as well. Um, it wasn't an own goal, it would come off the bar and hit him and went in. Um, but yeah. Uh, we then played Southampton, where we drew 0-0 in the league. Um, so no goals at all. Um, we then drew 2 all with Swansea away. Um, but we managed to beat them on penalties in the Capital One Cup. Um, Wayne Rooney and Kevin Volland scoring. Then we played Huddersfield where we scraped a 1-0 win at home as well. which was really, really bad. Danny Welbeck scoring. But as you can see, I played a weaker team. Or a slightly weaker team anyway. Um, then we smashed again Panathinaikos 3-0 in, in the Champions League. Nick Powell, Kagawa and Volland on the score sheet. Then we beat Norwich 3-0. Hatrick from Kagawa, and then we went away to Hull where we won 1 0 with Volland scoring. Then we played Juventus and we had a really, really good game and we won 2 0. Um, Wayne Rooney and Volland scoring. We then lost 1 0 to Arsenal in the league, which I was really, really disappointed with. Um, then we played at home at Old Trafford again against Fulham where we won 3 1. Marco Royce, Danny Welbeck, and Kevin Volland. Um, West Brom, as you can see by the way here, up until this point I dropped Wayne Rooney for a lot of games because he was out of form. Um, and then we played West Brom, uh, we won 2-1. As again, Wayne Rooney was 6.3. Um, Lucas Moura and Marco Roy scoring. Then we then played the Champions League game for our second game against Grasshoppers. Beat them 3-0. Um, Wayne Rooney finally getting back into form. Danny Welbeck and Chris Smalling scoring. And then we lost 1-0 at Anfield against Liverpool, which I was pissed about. Excuse my French. And then we beat Chelsea, which was a massive game because at this point Chelsea had run away with the league. They're about 10 points clear. 
Um, we won one nil, so we started to turn it around. Uh, Johnny Evans scored, um, but then again, look at that! Look at that result. We lost four three at the Etihad against City. Um, Florenzi, Kagawa, Rooney scoring for us. I then battered Bolton four nil. Kagawa, Rooney, and Lucas Moura scoring, and then it was an own goal as well. And uh, then in the third round of the FA Cup, where we beat Crew, um, beating four nil. Danny Welbeck twice and Kevin Volland twice. Then we beat Swansea at home 4-0. Uh, as you can see, we're on a really good run here. We're scoring a lot of goals. Wayne Rooney scoring twice and Lucas Moura as well, getting two. Then we beat Newcastle away 3-1. Fellaini, Royce and Rooney scoring. Then we beat Stoke 2-0 at home, where it was Marco, Royce and Rooney. As you can see, Rooney hitting form again. Um, so that break must have done them a little bit of, uh, of the world of good. We then had Crawley in the FA Cup fourth round. So we played them in the Capital One Cup, I believe. Yep, and also the FA Cup. Volan getting two, Janazai getting three, and Zivkovic getting the sixth. And we then batter West Ham away at Upton Park, 4-0. Almost the bowling ground. Um, Johnny Evans, Kagawa Rooney, and Lucas Moura scoring. And then we've just beaten Tottenham 2-1, where Wayne Rooney scored and Florenzi scored. Um, so like I said, Chelsea were running away with the league, uh, with 10 points. I think they were 10 or 11 points clear at one point, and they went in a bit of a dip. And this is where it's left us in the league. So we're second in the league at the moment on 51 points. We're a point behind Chelsea, so we've clawed it back slowly. And that goal difference with them, with the, with the, the goals in the last few games, have clawed it back for us as well. Um, so we're only six um, goals behind them as well. Um, so yeah, they just drew, they drew quite a few games, and uh, uh, let's have a look at their run. So we'll go to their team and their fixtures. As you can see, that they've had a little bit of a dip here. They've lost against Cardiff, drew against Hull, lost against Arsenal, and drew against Liverpool. And they're due to play City as well, which is could be a really good result if City beat them. As City, well, they're in fifth, um, trying about fourth. But look at Norwich in third. Norwich are doing superbly, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, lack of goals, I've not got us in the top goal scorers. Aguero's um, running that in the minute. Average Ray and Luke Shaw sat in there in fourth, and then Royce is in third. Turned out to be a very good buy for us in with 10 assists in the assist, um, whatever you want to call it, league, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, that's what's happened so far. Um, Champions League-wise, um, we've qualified, as you know. Um... I don't think the draw's been done yet. When were the draw? Has the draw been done yet? Uh, we want stages. First knockout round. Who did we get? Right, so we're away to Kiev, Dynamo Kiev. So that's quite a nice um, draw for us. Um, there's quite a lot of um, teams that wouldn't I wouldn't expect to be in it. For instance, Everton, Dynamo Kiev, Freiburg, Anderlecht, um, PSV, Valencia. So there's a lot of teams. Um, that are in there that you would maybe not expect them to be. Um, a lot of the big teams have been kept apart though. Dortmund playing Everton, Real Madrid playing Juventus. It's the only big team really. Chelsea got Freiburg, Napoli Benfica, Newcastle another one. We've got Anderlecht, Barcelona got Porto. It's probably the second biggest game. And Valencia got PSV. So a lot of big teams missing out of that. Notably Arsenal and City from the Premier League. Um, no Bayern either. Um, who else are we missing? No Atletico. So there's a lot of big teams missing out of that. Um, but on to the main, I suppose, thing that people want to hear about. Um, after the um, the window where we didn't really do too much business, um, I actually went and I've splashed out. I've basically seen a lot of opportunities to get a lot of good players, and I've not turned them down, basically. Um, you know about Salifu, Vidra, Tomic, Zivkovic all joined. Um, obviously, you know about Lucas uh, Marcus Royce joining, where we just jumped on an opportunity to get him when Bayern bid, and Lucas Moore I got for 16 million. That turned out to be an absolute bargain. Um, and you know about Raphael leaving for 36 million up front, so I got Gino Peruzzi in, um, and then obviously Tinyad Vaj um, at the end, along with Kadira, Grenier, Will Hughes, and Rode. I got from just basically really cheap. Um, Gabriel Barbosa, look, two million. Two million for him. I was absolutely buzzing. I sent him out on loan straight away because I don't need him at the moment. Um, but what a bargain. Um, and again, Edit Alvarez Balanta. Um, his determination is a bit of a worry. 
Um, I don't really have a centre back that can choose to him at the moment either, so that's a bit of a concern because I want to get that up really, especially while he's young. Um, but yeah, for four million pound, and he's already worth six point two five. Twenty one turns out to be possibly one of the best left, the best defenders or centre backs on the game. And and then because I wanted uh, basically my centre backs were poor, I want to get rid of Chris Smalling, but haven't managed to. Um, Yedvaj wasn't cutting it, so I've sent him out on loan. Um, who else do we have? Um, so yeah, we've got Balanta. Phil Jones obviously is the first choice. Um, Smalling has been not that great. So I've basically got a choice now because I've brought in Jan Vertonghen, who got injured in his first game, believe it or not. Um, I'm really, really happy with that buy. Although it's 20 million, his value is already 18.25. So I reckon I'll be able to get money from him in the future if I ever sell him. Um, ideally, I wanted to get Hummels. Um, or Varane, but I've discovered that Varane is injury prone, so that's a bit of a concern. So Hummels is my main target for centre back. He's he's who I want the most. Um, but yeah, so I've got a choice of Vertonghen, Phil Jones, Balanta, Johnny Evans, and obviously Chris Morland, who I'll probably look to get rid of soon as two and a half star. He's just not cutting it. Um, but yeah, that's all the business that I've brought in. Um, going out, as you know. Um, I struggled to get rid of players, um, who was it, Grenier, Will Hughes, Rode, Kadira. I struggled to get rid of them on loans um, because I just joined the club basically. Um, so what I've done since then, um, as you can see, if we select the date. So John Neal, I sent him out on loan. He's one of the regens I got. Um, Amido said. By the way, regen wise, I've I've got app. It's been terrible. There's not even been other clubs getting good regens. It's just been poor. So hopefully we'll get some this year. Um, Salifu, we've sent him out on loan. 100% um, of his wages gone to Roma. So hopefully his value will start to increase and we can get some money for him eventually to sell him. Tinyad Vaj, obviously, I think he was just too young. He wasn't cutting it quite yet. Um, so I've sent him out on loan. He's gone to Leverkusen. Um, Andreas Pereira, he wasn't playing, so I. Uh, it was one of them um, worries with the report on the loans because they just weren't playing him as much as they said they were. So I've we've, uh, recalled him um, and sent him out on loan again. Barbosa, as you know, got him in for two million. Sent him straight out on loan. Um, eventually, I'll probably get him into the first team along with Angelo Enriquez. Um, so it'll be him, Rooney, Voland, and Andrew, Angelo Enriquez. Um, I sold Road, as you know, I signed him on a free. Um, he was just there on a free. I um, sold him for ten, uh, for five million. Although his value has gone up, I just couldn't get rid of him. And eventually, Everton coming with a bid for ten million. No one wanted him on loan, and he's actually taken a cut in wages as well to go there. Um, and I'm not paying him nothing, so which is good. Um, but yes, yeah, so although his value has already gone up to ten million, um, which is a bit of a shame. But if someone's going to slap money around my face. I'm going to take it, especially as I wanted to get Balanta, Barbosa, um, Vertonghen also came in. Um, also, I looked at Doria, um, and I, he was coming. He was uh, genuinely joining, um, but he was not given a work permit. In the, my scout said that I could get one based upon appeal. And Real Madrid were bidding, bidding and bidding and bidding on him, and eventually I got him. Um, accepted, accepted a contract, and he failed a work permit. So I was a bit peed off about that and then when I went back in for him they wanted 28 million so I just I decided not to go for it but I think if Dario ever becomes available again I'll probably go for him because um, centre back has been a bit of an issue so I want to have a bit of a revamp completely uh, we then sent Kadira out on loan as you can see his value is already going up so hopefully we'll get rid of him at the end of the season and get him um, a little bit of money for him um, hopefully in the region of about 15 to 20 million because um, he's not going for 2.6, um, I think. Yeah, 2.6. And then Lucas Romero, um, he was being dropped out of the Argentina squad. Um, no one wanted Nick Powell, so it was either Lucas Romero went out on loan or Nick Powell went on, on, out on loan. Um, no one wanted Nick Powell, so Romero went out on loan. Um, and his value is increasing dramatically all the time. So I'm quite happy with that. So that's all the business has been done really, uh, obviously it's only a January transfer window, um, so there's only a couple of players that have either gone out on loans, I mean we've spent, what, 26 million on Vertonghen, Valanta and Barbosa, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy I suppose with how it's gone. Um, 
I've got a lot of players. It doesn't look like I've got a lot of money, but I've got a lot of players there. Um, I mean, well, I can get up to 21 million, but I've got a lot of players there that I've brought in that I perhaps probably um, either shouldn't have or I've just jumped on an opportunity that I'll probably let go in the future. Um, I like Grenier. Um, I was going to uh, plan to get rid of him, but I do actually like Grenier, um, so I may keep him. Um, but yeah, moving forward, I'll probably get rid of Fellaini. I just he's, he, he annoys me, but I'd like to get him up. If his if his value goes up, if we do well in competitions, his value goes up. I'll definitely get rid of him. But if he's only at this sort of value, and I'm probably going to get about 15 million for him, I'll probably um, hold on to him until his value does go up. Go up. Florenzi has been an absolute worldy of a buy for us. 20 million value already. Uh, he's just been awesome. Um, Lucas Moore has been good for us. So has Marco Royce. Zivkovic, I've been trying to get as much game time as I can when I can. Um, but yeah, other than that, Salafu, uh, uh, sorry, Silva and Shaw are rotating as much as I can to get their experience up. I'll probably one day get rid of Jonathan Silva, if I'm honest. Um, probably people will say not to, but Luke Shaw is just too good um, to not be playing week in, week out. So yeah, that's all that's really happened. Um, I'll keep it short, I suppose. Um, the next one, obviously the January transfer windows are a little bit shorter. Um, we'll try and get some cup finals. If I do, I'll play them live like I did with the FA Cup. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in episode, it'll be number seven.